Hello guys, in this video I want to show you an example how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for corresponding matrix A. So let's assume take A for my previous video, it's just a matrix 0, 3, 1, 2. And for this matrix I want to find all eigenvalues and all corresponding eigenvectors. So according to my previous video I just need to say if I want to find my eigenvalues it should be my first step. And if I want to find all eigenvalues, I just need to find for which lambda this determinant is going to be 0. So, let's write the determinant of a minus lambda i. And what is uh, first a minus lambda i? a minus lambda i is just going to be a matrix, uh, the same as a, but I'm going to subtract lambda for my main diagonal. So I'm going to have minus lambda 1, 2 minus lambda, 3. So determinant of this matrix is going to be just <coughs> minus lambda, 1, 3, 2 minus lambda. And this is 2 by 2 determinant, super easy. So here I'm going to just uh, do cross multiplication. So it's going to be minus lambda times 2 minus lambda, uh, minus 3. And we can see here we got polynomial. So we know that uh, the eigenvalues are going to be roots of this polynomial. Why? Because for one particular eigenvalue, which is the root of this polynomial, this matrix, this matrix is going to be singular. And what polynomial we get? We get quadratic polynomial. So in this case I have lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 3. And what is our roots of this quadratic? Uh, what are the roots of this quadratic uh, polynomial. We can see that we can factor that lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 3. Sorry, plus 1. Okay, so pro from here we get that our eigenvalues are going to be lambda 1 equals to 1. Uh, it's going to be lambda 1 equals to negative 1 and lambda 2 equals to 3. We're done with step number one. For step number two, we want to find our eigenvectors. So if we want to find our eigenvectors, first we need to choose for which lambda we want to find our eigenvectors. And let's first choose lambda equals to 3. We want to find the corresponding eigenvector to this eigenvalue. So let's say that we have some vector v with uh, entries v1 and v2. And v is going to be eigenvector if v is going to be a basis or lies inside the nullity of this matrix a minus 3i, a minus 3i. And since we want to find uh, when v lies inside the nullity, I will just need to write my a minus 3i times v equals to 0. But what is this, this, this matrix? This matrix is exactly negative 3, 3. Uh, and here is going to be 1, negative 1. And this matrix is times v1, v2. And we know it equals to 0 on the left hand side. Here I can do row reduction. I can multiply my second row by 3 and add to the first one and I'm going to get 0, 0, 1, negative 1, v1, v2. And here I'm going to see that this is equals to 0, v1 minus v2. And I know that v1 minus v2 is equals to 0. So from here I get that v1 equals to v2. So I know if v is inside my nullity that v has the following form. Since v1 equals to v2, I have v2, v2. So it's equals v2 in 1, 1. So I can see that null is spanned by just one vector, 1, 1. So from here follows that 1, 1 is eigenvector for 3. Okay. And let's do the last one. Let's do for lambda 1. For lambda 1, we're repeating the same procedure, but let's a little bit do it faster. So I'm going to know this is going to be negative 1. So I'm going to have negative negative 1 is 1. So I will have, uh, for lambda 1, I will have matrix 1, 3, and 1, uh, 3. If I'm going to do row reduction, I will get uh, just matrix 1, 3, 
0, 0. And here I can see that v1 equals negative 3v2. So from here follows that my vector v, if it lies in my node, is going to be in the form negative 3v2 times one, uh, uh, v2. And when I'm going to factor v2, I'm going to get the element negative 3 and 1 times v2, when v2 is a scalar. So from here I can see that my second eigenvector, so this is my first one, and my second eigenvector is going to be this one, negative 3 and 1. And let's check is this actually my eigenvector for eigenvalue negative 1. If I'm going to take my matrix 0, 1, 3, 2, and multiply by uh, negative 3 and 1, what I will get? My first number is going to be just, uh, entry is just going to be just 3. And my second entry is going to be negative 3 plus 2 is going to be negative 1. If I'm going to factor negative 1, I can see it exactly equals to negative 3 and, and 1. Yes, indeed. So this factor is an eigenvector with eigenvalue negative 1. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this example. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and share. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching.